We exist in this time in history that's referred to as the church age in which primarily Gentiles are coming to Christ. But that age, that church age, the age of the Gentiles, is going to come to an end. And God, in a miraculous way, will reverse the hardening that, has, that you see among many Jews toward the gospel today. And uh, uh, the current small remnant of Jewish believers will expand to include really the entire nation who will recognize, according to the prophet Zechariah, who will recognize and place their faith in Messiah Jesus. It's going to be an amazing event. In the meantime, God has determined to make Israel jealous. Jealousy, in that sense, can be a good thing. Because what God is doing is he's pointing out, saying, hey, look, these Gentiles, who you thought were just really fuel for the fires of hell, they've got something that you, that you really deep in your heart want. It's something that you need. Israel's rejection of Jesus didn't take God by surprise any more than Adam and Eve's disobedience took him by surprise in the Garden of Eden. Now, Ephesians 1.11, Paul writes, In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. Not a few things, not some things, everything. Because he is sovereign. He has the right and the power and the prerogative to do so. I've heard it said before, whatever God proposes, he disposes. God offers to us the dignity of causality, of being partners with him in his plans, of inviting us to participate with him. The truth is, the very fact that you and I are saved isn't due to anything that, that we've done, but rather it's due to the sovereign plan and utterly unmerited favor of God. So in the meantime, don't think that you have a more favored position. Rather, God is using the current Gentile composition of the church to arouse jealousy among the Israelites. See, jealousy, jealousy can be a good thing. And in fact, jealousy can be life-giving. So what does this have to do with you and me? Most of us here are Gentiles. What, you know, what does it have to do with my personal life and yours? Well, there are many of us here who, when we came to know Christ, we became estranged from our friends and our family members. And our discovery of life in Christ, in a very real sense, made us like a stench to other people. But there's also a small number, maybe, maybe even larger number than I think, who are intrigued by the difference in us. There, there's something that's real there. And they're wondering if maybe they should look for it too. And you aren't in control of that. You can't make them jealous. That's really a work of God. But some will want it. Allow God to use you in a very appropriate way to make others jealous for what you have living inside of you. 